Hello again. I am glad you're back for more training. This session will show you how to use the collection note feature. Collection notes are used to preserve a set of scriptures along with your notes about those scriptures. And there are several ways to create a collection note. The first way and perhaps most common is from doing a search, which you've probably done a few times now. Let's do a search and I'll show you a few more things. Let's search for I and single. Now, we'll click Create CN to start a collection note, and we'll expand it by clicking the arrow to the right. As you can see at the top, we now have 10 verses in this collection note. We also see the fields title, tags, and categories. We'll give this collection a title of Let Your Eye Be Single, and then tags that will help us locate this note in the future when we go looking for a topic. I'll put I and single and press enter after each tag you put in here to save that set of text as the tag. When you've done this, click the save button at the top and it will turn into an update button. Click this periodically to save your master note. Verses save instantly when you click out of them, but master collection notes require clicking the save or update button. Now, as you go down through the verses in your collection note, study them as you normally would and make notes about the verses to the right of the verses, but record your overall observations about these verses in the top master note area. You might make a list of things that you find in the verses, or you might record definitions that are shared across the verses, or record quotes that go along with these verses. Maybe you're preparing a talk and just want to organize the verses and type your talk in the top area. When you're done, click Update. And if you want, you could click the Print Report button, and it will give you a PDF of your master note, verses, and verse notes. Additional print and export features will come in the future, but you can do this in any pane view and get a printout of that pane's contents. Let's look at some other ways to create collection notes and some examples of things that you can do. Maybe you've tried this by now, but going to the topical guide is another great way to study a topic. Let's open up to the topic Jesus Christ and see the topics available for study. So we'll click on one, click Create CN, and now you have a topic ready to study. Give it a title and tags and click the Studied TG box to note in the system that you've studied this topic and don't need to return to it in the topical guide. What if you're studying a particular verse and find a lengthy quote for it, but you don't wanna put that quote into the verse note? Click the top right button by a verse to create a collection note starting with that verse and paste in the quote and save it. In this case, when you title and tag the collection note, also click the categories on the right and click quote. The category feature will come in handy to find things in the future when you're looking for a quote on a certain topic. Well, what if you wanna save a collection of quotes without any scriptures? You can do that too. Open the collection note pane on the left and click create CN. Title and tag the collection and paste in your quotes, and be sure to click the category item and select quote. Later on, you can add more verses if it's appropriate. Now, here's a trick you can do to maximize your space when working with a collection note. First, create your collection note and save it. Then go to the collection note pane from your navigation link on the left and open the note a second time. Close the master pane so that you have the same note open twice. And this is a little risky since your notes are manually saved. So on the left, click and drag the bottom of the master note to the bottom of your screen. And on the right, click the hide button at the top of the pane. You can now write in a full height editor while reviewing the verses in a full height pane right next to it. Just remember to never click save or update above the verses because you're doing all your work in the pane on the left. You can also do this from the study helps, but in a safer way. Click create CN twice on a topic in the topical guide, but when you set this up by expanding the writing pane on the left and hiding it on the right, 
only name and save the collection note on the left so the right can't be saved. You'll still be marking and noting on the same verse set, but now you'll not risk accidentally overwriting your notes on the left. Now, what if you have a collection but want to add additional verses to it or remove verses from it? Removing a verse is easy. Just click the minus button on the right. Adding verses is almost as easy. You can add a previous or next verse next to one that is already present by clicking the up or down buttons. But what if you want to add a verse from a search pane or a pane where you're reading a chapter? This is where the drag and drop icon comes in. Just drag the verse to the bottom area of the collection note and it'll be added. Now, how do you locate collection notes that you've saved? Every verse in a collection links back to the collection. Just click the green eye next to a verse and you'll see collections that verse is part of. Well, let's look at a couple other ways to find collection notes. From the master collection note pane, you can do a title search and have it pull back the titles for you to click on and open. For a comprehensive search of your master notes, use the search pane and click on collection note. You can further filter your results by selecting a category or tags if you believe it to be categorized that way. Another way to find collection notes is to look in your tag tree to find the note. Clicking a tag on the left shows the collections with that tag on the right. You can also do two level tagging by separating words by a colon. Let me demonstrate. Let's open up the topical guide entry for Jesus Christ Advocate. We can type and save this tag, Jesus Christ, colon, advocate. Don't include a space before or after the colon, or that will get included in the tag. Now, when we open the tag pane, we can expand the entry for Jesus Christ and see advocate as a sub tag. Clicking it will show the collection note with that tag. On the tag pane, you can also search for tag titles at the top. Okay, time to practice what you've learned. Go create a collection note and study something of interest to you. If you aren't sure what to study, pick a topic from the topical guide. Make a collection note. Make comments in the verse notes, but look for unique ideas across the verses and record those in the master note area at the top. Study the topic like you're going to be teaching it next week to a group of people. When you study with the intent to teach, you study at a deeper level. You think through things more, so you're prepared to explain them and look with the intent to teach something new and interesting. So this is the last of the basic training videos for now. When you're ready for more, come back here and click to view some other advanced topics. There's a lot more to cover, teaching you to find Hebrew and Greek meanings and words new techniques to use to dig more out of a passage, and tapping into what others have said about the scriptures. Hope to see you soon.